if anyone's looking for me, I'll be in the art room harvesting charms from old junk jewelry. Look at these Fridas. Hello, this is Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, as you can see from our little intro there, I've been busy in the art room, not junk journaling. I have been harvesting charms from old jewelry, and now I have a huge selection of it, and my task at hand now is to figure out what to do with some of it to make jewelry for our junk, my junk journals. <sighs> there's a lot of it. There's beads and there's charms. I don't know how I ended up putting this in here. This is the family jewels. This is family heirlooms. My dad lived in New Orleans and was... Um, known to quite often take part in the red dress run. I don't know if any of you uh, are from New Orleans, but the red dress run, everybody dresses up in a red dress and their, their finest jewelry and their, you know, shoes. And they, uh, just, they, <laughs> they, they race, uh, they race in the red dress run, but that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, take that apart. I'm just not going to do it. Anyway, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff here now. And I have to figure out what to do with it. I don't know exactly um, other than to make, you know, spine dangles. Spine, you know, I, I think we can put some on paper clips and even if you can't put them at the top of the journal, we can at least... You know, put the paper clips on the side with a dangle. And maybe we can use some if they don't dangle. Let's see, I had one that I was making a sample of, and I guess I'll never find it down there. Okay. All right. So let me show you a little bit about uh, a little bit about what's in here, and maybe it will give you some thoughts and ideas that you can share. Uh, with me as I am going to start searching YouTube for some ideas now. Okay, again, a lot of it's beads. These are old vintage, really pretty beads. Let's see. Most of this. These are gorgeous glass white beads, a little more squares. This was a hideous um, orange and pink necklace, and I took it apart, and these are still there. It's like the shell, those old shell necklaces. These are still not that cute, but they might come in handy for something. But th these were also on it, and I think that they're really cute and might look good at the end of a, a paper clip or on a dangle or something. Let's see, what else? There's big bottles like this. <laughs> I guess you could put, oh, this one is a, uh, okay, you can put that on the, on a spine jewelry. Another one in that same colors, the turquoisey colors. None of it, well, I'm not going to say none of it, but most of this is not fine jewelry. It is just costume. Um, but I do, I do have a whole giant glass decorative jar filled with, I have always called it pirate's booty. 
maybe I'll show that to us to you sometime. That is um, jewelry that I have collected over the years from antique stores or thrift stores or different places. Um, I called it Pirate's Booty because I felt like it was, look how cute this is. I felt like it was um, a lot like, I'm from the beach, I'm from, from Fort Lauderdale, and I felt like it was a lot like shell hunting, you know, to go out and look for uh, treasure. All right, so, <laughs> we can use that, right? I mean, it has to dangle on the spine. I don't know. All right. So there's a lot of flat pieces. Right now I am in search of inspiration. These. I kind of like this little black cross. There's several crosses in here. That one's very nice. I like it a lot. It doesn't have a topper on it. I would have to do something about that. A lot of kind of religious type. Could make a charm bracelet with all the all the religious um, artifacts. I know I have a collection not here. I haven't I haven't gotten to it yet. There's another cross. Um, and this. Oh, that's not it. That's a that's a lion. But there also I think in here is <laughs> a head of Jesus. It might not be in here, but there is one that's the head of Jesus. Yeah, I think I think it's a, I think it's a fun idea. Maybe I will make a whole collection of. There's another tiny little cross. Uh, religious um, symbols, and make a charm bracelet out of them. These are missing the big uh, jewel for the center, but all the little jewels are there. I don't know about those. Might not be worth keeping. There's a lot of buttons. I have tons and tons of buttons. I have somebody's mama's that passed away. I have her whole um, antique button collection. Uh, but I haven't pulled that out in a while. Lots of things that sparkle. All right, so you can see the kind of things that we have to work with here. There's different colors. There's blues. These big gold beads. All right. So you be thinking about it. And I'll be thinking about it, and we'll see what we can come up with. Look at that smiley face. What is that? Oh, that's a Brad. I could use that somewhere for something, on a kid's journal or something. Tons of shit. Oh, you know another thing that I was thinking um, might be fun to, uh, to make is... You know how they make, uh, in a picture frame, they make a giant Christmas tree. This Christmas tree, actually, speaking of that, this Christmas tree could be the topper to the Christmas tree. And then you put a big star up there. Is there some, something up there for the star? And then make all the jewels. I don't know if you know what I mean, but all the jewels make, you know, make the art Okay, right here, right there, I think I have just found 
the start of my first Christmas tree frame. All right, so I don't have a whole lot to say here today. Um, I hope everybody had a great 4th of July yesterday. I spent the day at the at the lake with my kids, which was awesome. We had the perfect cotton candy colored sunset. And late night hot dogs on the grill on the grill. We just made it easy and um, we floated a lot. All right. I'm going to say goodbye for now. I just wanted to, to check in with you, let you know what's going on. And yes, I will still be doing junk journaling. I just, I guess, took a uh, unplanned break after the 100 day project. That was a lot of work. And um, now it's time to move on in whatever direction we're going to go in. Right now, I'm thinking about junk journal jewelry, something to add to my booth at the Art Walks. All right, everybody, stay crafty. Have a great uh, afternoon, and I will see you again real soon.